All right, welcome to episode 27. This is Validation with Applicatives. Uh, we're live from Kansas City uh, with KCDC conference this uh, today. Um, so sorry if the uh, quality of the audio is a little different. Um, Ramda Fantasy was not working, uh, pulled in with Ramda Repl. So uh, we'll, we'll give another Validation with Applicatives uh, here in a couple days that will uh, that'll have a REPL for you. But just to give you an idea of uh, what we can do with Applicatives and especially with concept of validation, um, that's what this episode's all about. So I'm Reed Evans. I'm on Twitter at Reed and Evans. Um, and a domain that we want to work with right now is a location. So we have a location function that, given a city and a state, will return us an object which has a city and a state. Nothing too crazy there. Um, if you saw the episode on lifting, uh, what I want to do is I want to take this function, this location function, and I want to lift it. So this uh, location takes a string and a string and returns a location, or an A and a B and returns a C, if we were to uh, make that more generic. And once we lift it, then the function that's returned here uh, it takes a functor of an A, a functor of a B, and returns a functor of a C uh, when those are applicative functors. And I've got other videos. If, if that doesn't make sense, there's there's some other videos. Some of the previous videos uh, will make uh, hopefully will make some, make sense of that. If they don't, definitely let me know. I can revisit. So what I wanted to do was then, so so why would we do this? Well, because we may or may not have a city or a state. This presupposes, in this case, we're just saying, hey, these things need to be strings, um, and uh, but, we're, but we're accepting really anything. The thing is, is that what if we had something that ended up trying to find the state from the city that we gave it? And so what that would look like here, we don't have pattern matching, but really this is dynamic language, so switch works okay it would be great if it was an expression but um, in this case it's a statement it just means we've got a return from it so in this case uh, if we pass it to knoxville we would get either of a tenant tn chattanooga either of tn and etc um, if we uh, do not match if we don't know what the uh, what the city is or the state of that city uh, then we return an either left um, just using our either context as it turns out either uh, implements the applicative type class so we're good to go with this so what do we get with this? So now what we can do is we can write a, a, a function that says get the uh, location from the city. And that will end up returning us a location. So given a string, we'll get either an error or a location. So how does that look? We take our string, which is city. We call our lifted location function, which our lifted location function now takes two applicatives and returns an applicative of a result. Um, so city we already know is good. So in this case, city, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna assume that city's fine. So we're gonna say we're gonna wrap that up in of uh, to give us an either, uh, and then we're gonna call this state from city, which returns an either error or a string. So you see that this argument is an either, and what that argument ends up being after the function is applied um, ends up being an either. So that matches with our lifted location method definition here, where we're saying it, we have to have the same f in all of these. Um, and actually that definition is not quite right because F, I should have a constraint there making sure that that's an applicative functor. But, uh, so what I can do now, what does that end up resulting in? What does that look like? Well, if we call location from city and we pass Knoxville, then we get an either right um, and we get our location it wrapped up inside of this, uh, the right side of this either disjunction. Um, and why did we get that? Well, because we knew that city was going to be a right because we wrapped it in with either of state from city we could find knoxville so this is our validation um, or an example of some validation so it returns an either of t in it so that's perfectly fine uh, but if we were to do kansas city which is where i am now on the floor of a convention center um, we what we end up getting is that we end up getting an either left right because we see here that the state from city step is the one that failed uh, and the value that we passed in was kansas city so what we see is that this hit our either left case so since we lifted it, it takes two functors, or it takes two applicative functors. In this case, we're choosing to use the either applicative functor. Um, and in this case, the city was fine, but the state from city returned a left. And because both of those were not right, the implementation of applicative functor for either uh, made this whole thing not work for us. So there you have it. There's some validation. We didn't throw any exceptions. We didn't do anything crazy like that. But now we've got some validation uh, for our model uh, using applicative functors. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.